Hello everyone, this is Nick, and I present you the new Grida 1.5, which has a lot of new features like 3D grid and circular grid. Well, first things first, and let's start with rectangle grid. Here I have a picture by Timothy J. Reynolds and a shape that takes the color from the line pixel. And I want to duplicate it like 40 times. Let's make it 40. And select all the layers I want to put into the grid. So this is all my layers. And here it is, the rectangle mode. And I may set the number of columns or the number of rows I want to have. And of course you can set the spacing. Well, let's say we need eight columns. And set spacing to something like 30 by 30. Okay, eight columns, 30 by 30. So here it is some kind of scale effect and I can uh, move it around see the colors change and one new neat feature is grid overlay when I hit this button the script creates a layer with a grid effect on it in order to give you a more general feeling of what your grid looks like so it follows you along it follows you when you change uh, spacing everything like that and it also follows you in expressions mode when you hit create button this could create null object with uh, some sliders to control your grid, uh, everything. Like in the script user interface, uh, it's uh, spacing, number of rows, columns, respectively. You may control the color of uh, grid overlay as well from here. And uh, now you can also rotate the grid with a uh, null object. And you can parent null, null object to another nulls uh, to, for better control of your grid. And if you don't need all this, you just hit Bake button. When you do this, uh, this it removes all expressions and uh, null object. Well, um, the next feature is uh, Duplicator mode. Let's remove everything and uh, stay with one shape. Here it is. And the Duplicator mode uh, only available for 2D mode. You just hit this uh, icon and the duplicator mode is on. When you have only one layer selected, you may change the uh, grid configuration and the script will duplicate it as much times as you need. So here I have it. And now I can work with the shapes I have duplicated with this mode. So moving on to the 3D grid mode. Unfortunately, these expressions will not work in uh, 3D mode, so I will use uh, this composition. Here I have a lot of icons <coughs> that are put into 2D grid mode and when you have all this selected you may just uh, click to 3D mode and it will arrange all your layers into 3D grid. Uh, you may of course set the number of rows and columns but now you set them for, uh, for a plane. Uh, here it's XY plane so let's increase this. So you, we have three uh, items on the x-axis, uh, three on uh, y-axis, and all the rest are put into the z-axis. So let's uh, create the camera so I understand what's going on. Yes, here it is. And <clears throat> of course you can change the x, uh, the plane. So when you change it to xz, uh, your grid goes to the right. You change it to yz, it goes down. And everything is uh, like uh, in 2D mode, but uh, duplicator and grid overlay are not available. But you can create expressions and rotate uh, your grid with uh, expressions. With the null object, which you of course can parent to any other null or any other layer. Here you can also control the um, plane that you want to align to and number of rows and columns. Of course, when you don't need all this, you just hit Bake button, everything is removed. And on to the next feature, which is the coolest one. It's called Circular Mode. So let's click this and I will show you how it works. So basically, it just arranges all the layers into a circle shape. You just control the radius and the angle offset of each next layer. So if we put something like 30 degrees here, it will be just like this. Well, of course, you can experiment with the angle to get uh, different more different uh, shapes. But what is what is really cool is the spiral mode. It, it offsets radius just a little bit for each next layer. So let's see what it takes. 
Okay, I'll make radius 0 and then I will increase spiral to 10 and I will decrease uh, my angle offset to something like uh, 20 degrees. And yes, here I have spiral, but if you play with this, uh, you can uh, get all the amount of you can get all the variety of shapes like galaxies and stars and so on and so on. What's really cool about this is when you put keyframes for position at some time and then go to another position and you change the grid configuration, it will automatically add keyframes and inter interpolate between them. So you may have some nice looking animation. And of course you can switch between modes and for example let's uh, start with rectangle grid Oops. and the rectangle grid will become spiral something like this well this is the grid of 1.5 use it have fun